So here is a scenario. Uh, Gavin Newsom goes to Washington, D.C., and he has meetings with, uh, I don't know, someone because Joe left for Saudi Arabia a day or two before that. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't going to meet with the president. He was going to meet with somebody else or or some other some other groups of someone else in the White House, though. He didn't go downtown. He went to the White House. House. So let me just postulate this theory. And once again, uh, believe it or don't, uh, it's just a random thought that I have, but it is probable. And more importantly, it's been done before. Before, And it's been done before in modern history. Mm -hmm. Gavin goes to the White House. Joe and Camilla both have to know they're not going to be Mm reelected. The Democratic Party knows that. I believe pretty much everybody on the planet knows that. Uh, Maybe Jill hasn't told her husband yet because, uh, (laughs) you know, he's not capable of cognitive thought. but, But he might be the only one that doesn't know it. So Gavin goes to the White House. And here's the scenario. We can get a new president of the United States without you or anyone else in this nation being allowed to cast one single vote. Say that again. We can get a new president of the United States without you or anyone else having to cast one single vote. And the process is not only lawful, but it's been done before. So let's just imagine that someone goes up to Camilla Harris and it'd have to be somebody big in a company that's big or a foundation that's big or someone with lots and lots of money because this has to have the air of legitimacy and it cannot leave her with the besmirched reputation as though she has a reputation now (laughs) besides being Willie Brown and Montel Williams' girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So they go to Camilla and they say, look, Camilla, we've got lots of money, uh, you know, and and we're in a position, we really need your help. And we're in a position to give you a hundred million bucks a year or whatever the number is. And I don't know and and can't guess to uh, save whatever needs saving at the moment. Um, The earth, the whales, the snails, the garter snake, I don't care. But we're going to, we need you on our board. We're going to give you a hundred million a year to help us save things. And we know your job as vice president is important, but but the world needs you now and we need you for bigger things. And Camilla says, well, you know, when you put it that way, who am I to say no? Yeah. (laughs) So she resigns from the vice presidency of the United States and she becomes the board of save the whatever. And, and now at that point, uh, Joe is left with no vice president. Well, he gets to appoint one. And so he appoints Gavin Newsom, which is, I think, in my opinion, the only Democrat that not everybody on the planet hates. A lot of us don't think he's a very good governor or or a politician or even a good man, but Mm -hmm. some of us think he's an evil demon. But anyway, so he's appointed vice president. Not one vote was cast. And then Joe, a year from now, say he's got a couple of years to run, right? Mm -hmm. He he goes out to the public and he says, you know, I've just it's come to my attention that perhaps I'm approaching a stage where my mind may be failing me. And and even though myself and my son Hunter are the two smartest men on the planet, bar none, I can see a point where I may not remember the difference between my sister and my wife. I may not remember what state I'm in. And I may not even remember what office I'm running for. Yeah. But but it, it may come to that. And, and, you know, who knows? I might even call people lying dog face pony soldiers in, in public gatherings if, if my mind continues to go. I feel like I owe the American people more. I need to step aside as president because of my my impending medical condition. And he does. There's nothing stopping a president from resigning. And the 25th Amendment has the process uh, encoded mm-hmm. in it. So Joe resigns. Now who's president? Gavin Gavin. Newsom. Gavin Newsom is president. Not one single vote was cast. And now Gavin is in a position of appointing a vice president. Stacey Abrams. Stacey Abrams or someone else (laughs) equally (laughs) reprehensible to most of us would probably be his pick because he's that kind of guy. So now we have a president (laughs) and a vice president that no one voted for. Well, as it happens, um, when uh, conservatives retake Congress, and pretty much that's a foregone conclusion unless the Republican Party, and believe me, they have a history of doing this very thing. They uh, they trip all over themselves and blow it. But, yep. but barring that, 
we are in a position to retake Congress and retake control of the Senate. And it, and it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. So now all of a sudden it comes up that the smartest... And that, would be in, that would be in November. Right. When now it comes occurs. up yeah. that the smartest two men in the world have had some shady financial dealings. And they may not only face indictment, but they may face some serious prison time. Well, what happens? Well, Gavin pardons a pair of them. Yeah. Like Ford uh, pardoned Nixon. Like Ford pardoned Nixon. And, wow. it's, and this has all happened before. When Nixon was president, right. Agnew got into trouble legally for taking some money that didn't belong to him. Right. So he resigned as vice president. Nixon selected Ford to replace him. Nixon gets in a little legal trouble later. He resigns as president. Ford becomes president. Ford appoints the new president or new vice president. And his first official act is to pardon Nixon. And not one single vote was cast. Not one. Now, at the time... No one got too upset about it because it appeared that that whole thing had the uh, had the uh, premise of of lawful conduct and constitutionality, and it does really. I mean, none of that stuff was unlawful. You may not like it, or you may have liked it, but none of that was unconstitutional, and none of it was unlawful. And it and what has been done can be done. And don't think someone isn't thinking about it. I'm not saying this is going to happen. I don't know. It's just a thought. But it has been done before, and there are some very smart people pulling Joe's strings. So here is 